All the trucks are passing us. I'm doing 80 and this big rig sails right past, like an ocean liner. We're on the A5 Autobahn approaching Frankfurt. We've been on the road in this Mercedes B-Class for 16 hours now and have hardly traveled more than 200 kilometers. And now the gauge says it needs a charge again. So we leave the Autobahn and drive into an industrial area in search of power. Okay, it's all hooked up. Charge by hotline? Oh no. I'm seriously supposed to call RWE in the middle of the night? Hello, my name's Joachim Eggers. We're at a charging point and I'd like to activate it. No, we don't have a contract. BA 9208-7. Huh? Okay, now it's switched on. And I can see the car is charging. Super. Many thanks. Super. Ja, das ist aber sehr nett von What was your Herzlichen name again? Wie war Ihr Name bitte? Herr Schreiner. Mr. Schreiner, Herzlichen many thanks. Bye bye. Tschüss. We had to spend the night in a hotel in Frankfurt anyway because the car took nine hours to charge. So. Our appointment in the Sauerland is hanging in the balance. 157 kilometers. We won't make it. Das heißt, das schaffen wir gar nicht. Das schaffen wir gar nicht dahin. Well, here we are back in the right lane doing 80 kilometers an hour trying to save juice. Our B-Class will need one more charge. At long last, we've arrived in this small West German town. We hope somebody here can tell us what's wrong. Menikus is the specialist for charging points and cables. The company developed the standard connector being adopted throughout Europe. Hello, Mr. Lazzaro. Can we see what kind of cable this was? It really didn't work with the B-Class. I see it from here. From there? What company made this cable? We made it, but that cable can only charge 3.7 kilowatts. You're not serious. Yes, and the car takes 11 kilowatts, but you need a thicker cable. This one's too small. Are you telling me that the king of German car makers, Mercedes, lent us a demonstrator to promote e-mobility and gave us the wrong cable? <laughs> no, I think somebody who didn't know any better just made a mistake. Okay, let's give it a try. Now I want to see how fast the counter goes, if the amperes or volts or whatever just zip through. Indeed, for the first time, the Mercedes is charging the way it should, and in barely three hours, the battery is topped up. Without the charging stress of the past few days, the B-Class is pretty fast. With some 400 kilometers on the odometer, we arrive in Wolfsburg. Is driving electric still fun, Christian? It depends on the car. Some of the time the B-Class wasn't really easy. Real torture. We had the wrong cable. That cable meant we once had to charge it for nine hours overnight. We couldn't turn on the air conditioning despite the heat because we had to save electricity. We had to keep talking because we couldn't turn on the radio either. No, that uses electricity too. So we got to know each other better. I'm not sure I wanted to. <laughs> Next morning, we turn in our B-Class Mercedes. It heads off on its return trip to Stuttgart in a trailer. Our next car is again from Volkswagen. 
the VW e Golf. Volkswagen has recently announced an e mobility offensive. So, what sets this Golf apart from the gasoline powered Golfs? On the outside, it looks just the same. It looks the same, and it handles much the same too, except that it glides along very quietly. You just don't have the engine noises, especially at low speeds. A very pleasant way to drive in town. How many of these cars have you sold? Last year, we sold about 15,000 e-golfs, most of them to Norway. At the moment, Norway is the electric car market in Europe. But more and more markets are discovering e-mobility. VW plans to introduce 30 at least partially electric models by 2025. They could account for a quarter of the group's total car sales, or over 2 million units, a change VW desperately needs after its emissions scandal with diesel models. Are you under pressure because of Dieselgate to push more strongly for the e-mobility offensive? Um, the, uh, diesel the diesel issues have given impetus to the e-mobility initiatives, no question. But even so, this is the path we had started on even before that. We set out from Berlin two weeks ago in a VW, and now we're heading back to the capital in another VW. We've driven almost 2,500 kilometers around Germany, tested five electric cars, and charged our batteries 25 times. Joachim, I think we look like we've covered 2,500 kilometers in electric cars. Not me, but you do. Right. How was it for you? It was fun, but not always, plodding along in the slipstream of trucks, hunting down charging points and never knowing how to activate them, the technical jargon. But now we're almost professionals. We are professionals. We know what cards are available, what cables to use, and we made it back to Berlin on 100% electric. But I don't think e-mobility is going anywhere unless they solve the chaos with the charging stations. There have to be more charging points, and they have to be easier to use. The cars are okay. And I think the automakers have plans for what's to come. But until that time, I'd say in Berlin I'm going to stick with my bicycle. Yes, me too.